what's up guys welcome back to my youtube channel thank you all so much for subscribing for liking for sharing me out just being there with me from day one until now if you haven't noticed now you do my channel name has changed from homies and lifters to mini vibes on this channel i will be sharing things with you that i'm really really passionate about those are like my workout videos traveling vlogs DIY, morning facial routines, evening facial routines, Q&As, and so many things. If you are new here, then definitely welcome to the Ninja family. Be sure to subscribe, like, share, and then definitely get along with it. Today, I'm sharing with you guys my body transformation. So, let's get into it. Okay, so if anybody ever tells you that the fitness journey is easy, child, they are lying to you, okay? Because there ain't nothing easy about this whole fitness journey, especially if you're trying to lose weight or you're trying to gain weight. I don't know about losing weight. I cannot speak about that part, but I will speak about my body transformation in trying to gain weight. Quick story, y'all. I've always been a skinny child. Not that there's anything wrong with being skinny, but ever since I can remember, I have always been short, skinny, tiny maybe, I don't know if skinny is the word for it. And it was never a problem for me up until I reached high school. And you know what they say in high school, it's either you find yourself in high school or somebody else helps you find yourself in high school. Fortunately for me, it was the other way around, where other people, learners, teachers, and outside influences helped me find me. It is a little bit weird if you have to look at it, but that's just how high school works. Okay, okay, enough planning, let me get into it. So, in high school, grade 10, in my country, after you've written your grade 10 exam, you get to go on this three month holiday. And I'm telling you, during this three month holiday, I was living the best life ever, period. Okay, period. Because I done went to Vinduk, I went to go stay with my rich aunt, and I'm telling you, I was eating like, you know, I was having like eight meals a day, there was like snacks, proper food, takeaway, whatever you name it, I was having it for three months in terms of food, okay, in terms of, <laughs> in terms of food. And I was just eating and eating and eating. And I didn't mind what was going on with my body because all I knew, I was happy, I was on holiday, food was coming, DSTV was paid, there was a swimming pool, and I was living my best life, shabang shabang, you know? Whew the part that i dreaded the most finally came along and that's when i went back to high school and by then i was in grade 11. so remember when i said that i was always a skinny child but then i went on holiday ate my hair pierced and went back to school and when i went back to school i had gained like a total of three to five kilos i can't remember i think it was four or five kilos and it was so evident because imagine you're coming from a skinny person and then all of a sudden you're coming back and you have hips and you have the goodies and people are just like, what happened to you? Child, you is fat. So already I was struggling with this being skinny. Now I had struggled with this being fat. So I didn't know what to do. I was torn between two worlds that if I get to be skinny again, then I wouldn't like myself. But now that I'm fat, I also don't like it. And that's where the whole dilemma started, y'all. That's where it all started. I started jogging every single day. Every single day I would jog until I lost the weight again and then I went back to being skinny. So when I was skinny again, I was like, nah, man. I'm a whole woman. I gotta look like my cute friend. She got all the, you know, developments going on and she got the body and she just looking cute. But I'm just like a stick and that wasn't sticking well with me. So I decided that enough is enough. Let me go back to being fit. 
And I mean, who does that? How do you go back to being fat? If that's not even the point that you want to be, the so-called fat. Guys, I wasn't even really fat, man. It's just that, you know, you gain a little sum sum and then people notice. And it looks good on you, but for me, I was so insecure about it. And I had identity crisis, I had like inferiority complexes, I couldn't look people straight in the eyes. Whenever I walk into the room, my head was always down and I was just like, what? Which I sometimes do these days, but I'm working on it, I promise. So my whole high school period was just scrambled, scrambles, 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 until I went to college. In college, I started watching videos on how to gain weight. Nobody ever sat me down on like, you need to eat this and you need to eat that and you need to drink this and you need to drink that. I was just watching YouTube videos and basically I decided that, you know what, what they're doing on YouTube is exactly what I want, I want to do. And I signed myself up at Virgin Active in Olympic by then and I was going on the regular, I was going and I was eating my meals, but still I wasn't gaining this weight. Which of course today I got to understand that a lot of people have different body types. My body type isn't necessarily what's yours and your body type isn't necessarily what's mine. So different workouts work for different people. Okay, let me just explain this a little bit. Somebody who wants to gain mass will have different workouts compared to somebody who wants to lose weight. They can never ever be in the same group. It will be totally, totally, totally chaotic. Right, and the workouts that I was doing was just cardio after cardio after cardio after cardio. I didn't know anything about weightlifting, I didn't know anything about squatting, I didn't know anything about deadlifts, I didn't know anything about bench pressing, I didn't know anything about dumbbells. Okay, I just knew about being on the treadmill, riding the bicycle, joining some hit classes, which were whew, tough. <laughs> Really, really tough, but I survived. In 2017, I joined another gym in a totally different country, and I was being trained by this guy named Pasha. And basically, what Pasha did was introduce me to the world of powerlifting. And in powerlifting, it's all about strength training. You get to deadlift your maximum, bench press your maximum weight, squat your maximum weight, and also have some accessory workouts, but the three main exercises are squat, deadlift, and bench press. Yes, and that's where I learned so many things from him about working out. I learned techniques, I learned forms, and I learned how to eat the right way, which eventually helped me gain weight. Guys, when I say do not underestimate rice, meat, eggs, milk, and then your protein shake, I really, really mean it. I really, really, really mean it. And that's just the minimum. This is like the minimum. There's so many other food types that you can eat. But for me, it was the rice, it was the beef, it was my protein shake, eggs, almond nuts, milk, bananas, and oats in the morning every single morning when oats morning that helped me gain weight so with this kind of diet and the workouts that pasha was training me on i started seeing little changes little changes firstly i noticed it in my body guys i went from a 28 and then i was a 30 and i was like whoa i can't even fit in my jeans anymore i need to buy new clothing and then that's just how it kept, that's just how it kept going on. I was showing up for workout on Mondays, I was showing up for workouts on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays, sometimes Saturdays. I was working out like six times in a week to try to gain weight. Eventually, I saw the changes, but it just took me, in particular, a while to get to where I am right now because one, sometimes I wasn't always consistent, two, sometimes I would stress and when stress hits me, weight goes just like that. I do not like stressful situations, I cannot tolerate it, I will never put myself in a stressful situation because I know what it does to me, okay? And three, 
I was changing my diet so many times because sometimes when it's really really hot I have a tendency of not eating I just want to be drinking the whole time I'll be drinking fizzy drinks I'll be drinking Oshi Candela which is sweetened curd milk but really really soft I don't know if curd milk is the word for it but it's really just soft yogurty tasting the king kind of milk and that's all I would be drinking every single day and my weight was just going like that Boom. and gaining mass has been this way up until last year it was always like a yo-yo one moment I'd have it and I look the bomb and then the other moment I've lost it and I'm back to being skinny again which skinny in my words is termed at 55 kgs but when I'm gaining and I'm blooming and I'm looking the bomb I'm like 62 kgs so you can see the difference in numbers and I literally feel like if you see me at 62 kgs I look like and if you see me at 57 kgs I literally look like this so you can see that there's quite a huge huge gap and I was tired of going around being like a yo-yo, not maintaining my own weight. So last year, I was like, you know what? I am tired of copying people's workouts. I'm tired of watching YouTube videos, do this, do that. And I'm tired of not maintaining my mess gain. So I took medicine to my own hands. That's when I was like, I need to figure out which part of my body I need to concentrate the most and work out on those parts and then everything else will just fall into place now I know for a lot of you it will kind of be contradictory because you it, it, it seems as if I'm trying to say if you want a flat stomach then only work on your stomach but no honey I was already tiny but I just wanted to gain mass so I was like okay fine I want to get a bigger booty so I started doing squats, I started doing hip thrusts, I started doing like side lunges, back lunges, front lunges, Bulgarian squats to help me build my booty. Alright? And on top of that, there were other body parts that I wanted to work on, like tone my arms, tone my legs. And I started working on those body parts three to four times a week, depending on how heavy my schedules are, I made sure that those body parts are being worked out on the regular in a week. So when I started doing that, for me personally, I started seeing changes. And parts of my body that I wanted to grow were growing. And parts of my body that I wasn't working on just remained the way they are. And then I was like, okay, fine. Now that I'm here, if there's something that I really want to turn up, for example, get my waist slender, or get my back a little bit broader then that's where I focus on next so apart from doing isolated muscle workouts like what I said working on one particular muscle I also changed my diet I started eating more carbs started eating uh, rice potatoes spaghetti macaroni I started eating bread the thing that I didn't like Whew, maybe I'm spoiled or whatever, but I didn't like eating bread. I was just like, I don't understand it. And I started toasting the bread and then only I started eating it. If it's not toasted, I won't eat it. That's how spoiled I made myself to be. Mm -mm. But either way, I started eating bread. I started eating oats. I started eating all bran flakes. And I included more uh, dairy products into my diet that included milk started eating cheese and I love 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 cheese guys cheese for me is wonderful and on top of that I also started eating some fats that I just used to cut out of my diet I started putting butter on my bread I started cooking my food with oil again I was just a total total mess before I started understanding what my body wants and where I needed to go but now that I did that research, I'm so happy what I found it and I'm so happy where I am. And I know without a shadow of doubt that I am gonna grow more because it's my passion. It's something I really wanna do. This is not the end of it. I'm excited for how I'm gonna look 
at the end of this year probably beginning of next year and i will keep you guys updated on my body transformation probably by the end of this year or by next year and i'm just so excited that i am here and i'm also excited for how i'm gonna look like in the future that's all i have for you guys on my body transformation thank you so much for sticking it out with me my first upload as Mimi Vibes. I'm excited. I know you guys are excited and there's just so much more to come. Do check out these two videos. So until further next time is bye.